Who were the philosophers and philosophical ideas that influenced you the most? Are we just jumping right in? That's we're it. right in, we're not, into no, the no, deepest. No foreplay on camera, all right. <laughs> I had an interesting philosophical journey, at least I think it's interesting, and that was, I think, as far as organized philosophy or maybe uh, authentic, authentic's not the right word, but like, uh, yeah, we'll say organized. Um, I would say that Nietzsche is probably one of the people with the most influence on, on me, uh, but I also feel like, to a degree, your personality and uh, will oftentimes dictate what philosophers that you can you can you. vibe with yeah so what, what what ideas from nietzsche was it uh the ubermensch definitely the ubermensch is is huge to me because i see it as an extension of basically the religious concepts of god and higher ideals but just put into a different a uh, secular context and the idea also that um the ubermensch is a striving and overcoming, you know, something that you're always working towards that very few will ever, it, it's not like the, the concept that you can just make them. It doesn't happen that way. It, and it's not based simply upon if you were say put through a genetic program and, uh, and, and turned into a super soldier, like I wouldn't, that wouldn't make it, you know, that's like the, the, the very surface level and incorrect understanding of what the ubermensch is. The ubermensch is the idea of this, this kind of uh, human that, that transcends all the, the weaker, lower aspects of humans, which we're full of. But I also think that there's an element in Nietzsche's writing that suggests that it's not something you can even be in all the time. Like it's mm -hmm. even a temporary state because it's not something that we're capable of maintaining. It's something to strive for, like a morality, uh, an image, the ideal, a set mm -hmm. of principles that we can connect to that doesn't rely on otherworldly kind of uh, out there things. It's yeah, deeply and human. With, with Nietzsche, I feel like the concept of the Ubermensch um, is something built on authenticity as well. As Heidegger was like Dasein, right? So when you are authentic, and Heidegger being a, a follower of Nietzsche's and highly influenced by him, uh, with I think that the Ubermensch is an example of authenticity in that it isn't about trying to be anything that you cannot be or to go against who you are, but to actually understand that, accept that, and then work with what you can work with and, and, and create from your lump of clay that is you. Because I can't become certain there's certain things that are just not going to happen for me because it's not in my proclivity i mean i'm never going to be you know five foot tall and 120 pounds i mean that again <laughs> i guess but uh <laughs> um but i know but as you get more in tune with who you are as you start learning more about what unique things or at least what that that combination that makes you that gestalt part of yourself what those things are and how you can use them then you know you can work towards being that old, taking what that is and seeing if you can get to that point now the likelihood is no maybe probably never i mean but we can never achieve godhood yet you know religion is is, is a constant you know striving and a look at a higher ideal concept even if it's multiple gods or one god it's still essentially all built around this concept. Like I, I, I like the idea of uh, Catholics original sin. If you think of sin, not as evil, but as, you know, missing the mark, the archer's term where it derives, or even like in Spanish, you know, without. So as being, if you accept that you are imperfect, if you accept that you you need to constantly strive even against yourself, mm -hmm. because you, you will figure out the best ways at which to submarine your own capabilities, submarine your own, dreams and wishes and whatever you will ruin them more than anything else and you will tell yourself that you ruined them on purpose for a good reason or you'll say that you'll figure out a way to, to put it on everything else but yourself and so the idea of thinking of well as i'm starting off on this whole thing i got a lot of work to do and that's just the way it is and i got to figure out what areas those are going to be and so you know i thought oh yeah if i think of original sin actually can be uh, that can be kind of a, a clever idea but it's also just accepting that we're all uniquely strange and unequal in our own ways, but we have well, to figure out how that fits in. The word uh, authenticity kind of connects to all of that. So 
striving to be your authentic self means figuring out exactly the shape of the flaws, the 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 character of your like little demons that you get to play mm -hmm. with and around them finding a path to whatever the hell uh, ideal versions of yourself you can carve and pretending like that's such a thing is even possible.